You know, there's this great video series out there. This guy goes around in a car. And that seems to be pretty simple. And just like, why would you be talking about some guy that's driving around in his car? Well, because he hides himself in the car as the seat of the car. He literally looks like the car that's driving around by itself. And the videos, he what he often does is he has a hidden camera inside and he will like go to like restaurants that have drive through windows, pull up and they'll say they're going to take the the order, the money, whatever. And he pulls in there and people are like, uh, there's a ghost car out here. Or, or some people actually freak the hell out and they go, ah, oh Christ. And they run and the car just drives off while they're freaking out. Or they'll like, uh, what? And the, and the car just drives away. It, it's incredibly funny. The reason why we're bringing this guy up here is because Ford is actually funding this guy to drive around like this all the time. Just to get an idea of what people would do if they seen a self-driving car. Which I think is it's an interesting uh, psychological test. Because if you can see the reactions of people just seeing a car driving around with nobody at the wheel. Because that technology is coming around to becoming a more and more of a reality. As we become more acclimated to that kind of technology, it's going to be like seeing somebody with a, uh, the first cell phone. It's like, oh my God, what is that brick uh, thing that you're holding up to your head? What, what is that thing? Nowadays, everybody's got one. Nobody cares anymore. But self-driving cars is not a thing right now. I mean, it, well, it is, but I mean, it's not very commonplace. So this guy's pranks has actually paid this guy off because Ford, like I said, he's being paid by Ford to go out and find out what people are thinking about this kind of thing. Kind of your thoughts. I blame Satan. <laughs> He plays just, <laughs> this is so lame. I don't know why Ford isn't being <laughs> sided with, it. I don't know, irresponsibility at some kind of, no, this is, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I think, I think that uh, them trying to claim <laughs> that this is some study that they had. Uh, th did you hear the air quotes? Um, I think that... <laughs> I think it was really pretty sad. Uh, no, this isn't how science works. All right, <laughs> just it's an it's an uh, interesting psychological study, though. Well, interesting is a very vague word. I really mm -hmm. have nothing to say about this except I think it's just like a really jerk asshole thing to do, mm -hmm. uh, and that's really how I feel about it. Hey, atheist ranger, your thoughts. <laughs> 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 well, Halloween's my favorite holiday, so this looks this seems to me like the perfect prank to pull on my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to get this man's phone number and like, hey man, can you do me a favor? <laughs> I have two sisters who would love to just love to see the reaction of that. Yeah. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Matt, your thoughts. Uh, I think it's a little creepy, but a little cool, you know. At the same time, you know, it's uh, uh, hey, the guys, if Ford's paying him for it to drive around like that, hey, more power to him. Yeah. 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 He, he, he found it. He found the easy money. Just what do you do? I just drive around. Well, we're the obviously we're in the wrong business. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> and cleaning toilets uh, on a regular basis isn't uh, all what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. I wouldn't mind driving around dressed as a car seat and uh, freaking people out and getting paid for it. Hey, mm -hmm. that's a pretty easy job. <laughs> there are videos out there of cars that they're not supposed to be self-driving, but something happens and they just start going crazy. Or they, there was like this. There's this one video. If you can find it, the car is going around backwards in a circle because it got thrown into reverse accidentally, and the guy got. Uh, out of the car and he didn't realize it was in reverse and he, and he locked it he closed the door and locked it and started back just going in a circle getting a little bit wider and wider each time and the cops had to go out and actively had to smash the window and jump through the window to get in and stop the car actually that was not an episode of cops yeah i think it was an episode of cops so i yeah. think it was an old uh grand torino or something or some kind of car it, it yeah. was a big giant car that's all i know yeah but so, I mean, you know, that that's definitely dangerous, you know, mm -hmm. because eventually this is going to become a thing. This is eventually going to become a thing. Oh, anyway, of course. Yeah. 